Hey, hey, hey. Again and again, I tell all my friends I lose my gun before I lose my tool. <laughs> All aboard and welcome back to another episode of the Freedom Train Podcast Series. Y'all hear that voice? How I'm opening up this thing with that. And then I remix right with it again right. and again. I tell right. you. Right. We like, we like, we like a rap group that be singing and a singing group that rap. Yep. But it don't even matter because this Freedom Train Podcast Series. I'm your homeboy, Joseph Ward, and that's Patrick Irving. And we get down and stay down and be down right here. How we do it. The greatest podcasting you have ever heard in your life. But first, before we have some fun, I do want to uh, thank Dr. Julius Garvey for stopping by the Freedom Train this past week and being a guest on the show. And I feel honored once again to be able to be a part of the Justice for Garvey effort. So all of our viewers, we encourage you, first of all, to make sure you go, make sure you're on the, um, either the website or your, your favorite podcast platform or this YouTube channel. You make sure you go check out the video from last week, the podcast from last week with Dr. Julius Garvey, so you can learn more about the Justice for Garvey effort. You can go to Twitter at Justice, the number four Garvey, to follow them and get more information about the effort. Or you can go to the website at Justice Four, and that's the number four, Justice Four Garvey.org, to be able to support the effort to get a post humans exoneration of the late, great, honorable Marcus Mosea Garvey, who was falsely charged with crimes that he did not do. So, um, a man that man gave so much to us, the least we can do is be a part of the effort. So go right. to the website for more information, or you can visit our Freedom Train website at www.freedomtrainradio.com for, for information about, because we do have it posted on our website as well, where you can go get more information and become a part of the effort. So justice and number four, Garvey. I want to give a special shout out to Lifestyle, ultra sensitive, <laughs> triple tested latex condoms. Uh, they are our unofficial official sponsors for this video. Uh, and for those of you fellas that want to feel it like you shooting up the club when you really ain't, lifestyle. Because hey. it's not about the choices you make. It's about the lifestyle you pick. This went left quick. I like that. And, <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you that are unfamiliar with our lifestyle premium hey. Freedom Train brand, hey, we bring right. to you the extra large format. Then and you said it's triple tested. Triple tested. So triple this triple tested. tested trip what does triple tested mean? That mean they 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 use it three times, then roll it back up and put it in this package. I don't know, but it's a like triple tested and trusted since 1905. That's what, that's what it sounded like to me. They used the condom three times. <laughs> then washed it off and put it back in the pack. <laughs> they rinsed it out. All right, this one good. She ain't get pregnant. Yeah, right. Well, it, it worked. It worked. I tried my dude three times. <laughs> ah, be hey, a be a hey, man, that is funny, man. Hey, well, I, I'm glad I got that out the way. What I need to get out of the way because we're going left and we, we're not going to give y'all the regular intro because, damn it, we here now. So, hey, man, what the hell is going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, it's funny. Every fucking time I mention them condoms. You bring up something that's funny about the packaging. Last time it was the large format. Hey, <laughs> now it's triple tested. Hey man, I'm the person that pay attention to the subtle stuff in condoms. <laughs> that's me. And condoms only, huh? <laughs> hey man, I love it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I, you, I, there ain't no condoms close to me. I'm gonna have me. We gonna have a condom battle. We gonna see who got the best condoms. Oh, bro, I got a, I got a whole pack. I got the lifestyle, the bear skin, goat Man. skin, deer you skin. You forgot what I do for a living. I'm the oh, condom well, man. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, hey, Pat be, Pat be hanging out in CVS in the condom aisle. <laughs> Just, hey, man, you know, hey, hey look. Y'all got that new ship? Hey, bro, <laughs> every dude need to be in there. You got to find the right fit for hey. you. You taught me that, Joe. Straight you up. You taught hey, me that. Straight up, but so... We're going to need people in Charlotte to step their game up because in Tallahassee, if you buy condoms in Tallahassee, that's your fault because you're not in the know. Condoms are free and good condoms are free everywhere. 
And I do want to make this distinction. There's no such thing as bad condoms. Stop listening to people in the streets. All right. There's no <laughs> such thing as a condom that the efficacy is just way less than other condoms because somebody said so. All right. Is you you look at you know we looking for that good sensation though you want to feel like you up well, in yeah. the club shooting it up wrong. We'll see. We'll see. If, all right. So with that, you need to make sure you need to figure out what you like about condoms, and you need like a top, like I would say a top five list of things that you you like about condoms or you need in your condom. Like for one, full protection. That's my first. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah full protection like um second is make sure the con I, the con need to be the right size for me i don't need to be trying to wear no condom that's too big that's gonna slip off <laughs> right and then that, no and and that's important hold on we got a harp on that one yeah because yeah, a lot of yeah. y'all mo- y'all be trying to impress girls Mag- by having a uh, grand large formats when your Get format i'm a magnum yeah your your format ain't Grand or large? Hey, so so why we own that too? So go ahead. No diss to the Trojan brand, but that 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 Magnum condom performance wise, people are always complaining about. It. For one, the smell. Yeah, it's not a yeah. If you don't stink, some of them. If if you don't know that the Magnum stink, that's because you don't have sex with the Magnum. <laughs> I'm just everybody. <laughs> Everybody that everybody that I've talked to that uh, that is used one male or female <laughs> say the same thing. Yeah, they Unless gotta, just totally oblivious. Yeah, they they got a smell to them. They got a smell to them. Second, second, like one thing I've been telling people is, man, you might as well use a Ziploc bag. Then, like, I mean, and and of course, I'm exaggerating with that, but no, you mean like my because my my third my third point that I need in the condom is. I want, I personally, I want my feeling. I want to get yeah. as much feeling as possible. I want to get as much protection as possible and as much feeling as possible. Right. And then, so that's why I like some of those, like, um, it's the poly, like the polyurethane, not necessarily the latex, but the polyurethane, because mm-hmm. when it, it's like the same material that's, that's used for the female condom, but that's a thicker version of it. But even, even in that, as as the as the sex goes, and as the woman gets more aroused, and she gets wetter, and it get warmer, it starts to adhere to her, and it starts to feel like it ain't done no more. Would that yeah? Because because number one for me toot, toot. is feeling. <laughs> <laughs> but feeling is my top three because you know I'm the sex man, so of course my mind think different. But yeah, feeling is up there. Feeling is definitely up there. Well, see, because I'm married, though, so I shouldn't be, I, you know, I ain't too worried about protection. Right. Because right. I'm married. You close your eyes and scream thug life. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so feeling is, is no, and that's why I'm on the hunt. And that's why we left Trojans behind. Because Trojans, those are some of the worst feeling condoms in I'm the history of condoms. I like lifestyle. Right, but see, there's a misnomer out there that lifestyle condoms offer of dudes with little dicks. So a lot of dudes be running from lifestyles because there's this whole... And I'd be like, why do you care about whether or not another well, person... Like, if you ain't having sex with them, why do you care what well, they think of your package? Well, if somebody... So, realistically, I and I get it, street-wise, community-wise, regular motherfucker-wise, I get it. Somebody, t- you don't know no better. Somebody tell you that a lifestyle is a condom for little dinglings. And you hear a number of girls say that. Lifestyle for little dinglings. But in like real life, lifestyle just like Trojan and just like other other condom brands, they make various sizes of their condoms. Yeah, I just showed you a, lo- a large format lifestyle condom. But I mean, so, so um, years ago, Lifestyle got slick. It was like, all right, people, because they realize it's not the actual Magnum condom that people like. It that that's not what catch the people. It's the golden wrapper mm-hmm. because of the the narratives and everything that has been created around that wrapper and the branding and right, and then it being called the golden ticket because all Trojan 
I had to do is make make the condom seem like it's for big dinglings. And the communities did the rest of the marketing for, for Magnum. Absolutely. For Trojan. So I've I have, you know, I've been I've been doing my condom outreach and stuff back before the Rona. And when we can go face to face in large crowds and stuff. And um I remember having conversations with with um a girl and I'm showing her the Magnum condom. No, yeah, it was a Magnum condom and it was a Trojan EZ, one in the blue pack with a white right. Mm-hmm. And so the the Magnum was turned over, so it didn't say Magnum on that side. It said Trojan on that side. Mm-hmm. And so the chick was like, nah, man, you, you go ahead and get up out of here because, you know, we're black people are so brand loyal, right? So she was like, yeah. nah, man, nah, man, you get up out of here. I don't use no Trojan. I only use Magnums. Mm. Oh, oh, you do, huh? I just, I, I hit her with that. Like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, you got it. All right, and turn around and walked off. Because that, that, you don't argue with fools. Yeah. She said, literally, I don't use Trojans. I only use Magnums. Bro, I had to look at the, as I'm walking away, I had to look at the package because she made me feel like I was stupid. Like, I didn't know what was going on. So I'm reading the package just, just to make sure that to say Trojan Magnum. Like, maybe I right. missed something. Because the conviction she had. And I'm like, that bitch oh. say Trojan. Okay. No, I'm, yeah. I'm, look, I, I'll oh. tell you, look, man, look. I'm gonna say this because you're right about the golden ticket, Brandon, and a lot of I got a lot story of people. About that. Finish that. I got another story. No, nah, but you know, like a lot of people got this misnomer, right? Like, like all you got to do is show a girl that that you with Trojan. You got a Magnum, and she gonna let you bust it wide open. Look, if a girl let you stretch her out because you show her a particular brand of condom. You might, you might not be trying to you. You might not want to shoot that club. Like you, you might, might not even want to enter that club. Even even if you use the condom, you might want to go get tested after that. Now you might just not want to enter that club. Like that might just be a situation where you like, all right, um, you know what? I'm gonna keep this one in my pocket. Yeah. So so branding, right? Right. Like, lifestyle. Lifestyle not want to be. Not not want to get their ass totally kicked by Trojan because I mean everybody knows that just like McDonald's, just like Coca Cola, just like um, it's like um iPhone, um, you know we know we know the leaders in the categories and we know everybody know that Trojan, as far as branding wise, marketing wise, mm-hmm. company wise, Trojan's number the one. Trojan man, right? Trojan man, because that's like we got the biggest wee wees over here. <laughs> so, oh yeah, because yeah, people, I'm kind of old school, so I use all the other words. I say I only use, I only say like dick and stuff like that when I'm about to get some. So, other than that, I like to say wee wees and tallywhackers and stuff. It sounds funny, but um, so lifestyle got smart. They got slick. Actually, they like, all right, we know y'all brand loyal. We know y'all Negroes brand loyal. We know that. So we're going to hit y'all with this golden packet. It's going to say King. It's going to say King real and real big old letters. And it's going to say lifestyle and small letters upon the King. So <clears throat> they, so they make it un- in the packaging and then they put it out. You should have seen how many people was grabbing them damn thing. Oh man, let me get these magnums. Let me get these magnums. Let me get these magnums. Cause they're not reading the package. I remember going up to somebody and just trying to, you know me, I'm, my mind can be diabolical sometimes. <laughs> so I walk up to somebody with the condom in my hand and it turned over so it don't say king or lifestyle. And I like, man, you want one of these magnets, bro? Like, he looked down. Yeah, yeah, don't even get that magnet. I'm finna go use this right now. <laughs> I just laugh. <laughing. laughs> I just laugh because I'm like, because he's not gonna read the packaging because they understand with the marketing and the and the actual the way they branded themselves. The, the Trojan condom brand used that golden, that's why we call it the golden ticket. They used that golden packet to brand themselves as the number one condom, the best condom, the big Talawaka condom. Yeah. And and condoms nowadays, they using the credit card format. You, you got platinum, black, gold, silver, brown, like you got all that. Like, it, like this is condom. I would... so, look, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look, 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 look. 
look, look. Let's say platinum. Yeah. Ultra yeah. sensitive platinum. And then it they is. can't just have the large is. format. It they got the large grand, grand. La- the large grand format. Right. That means you long and wide. Can't Bruh. be long. You gotta be long and wide. Bruh. Gotta this shit is crazy, pressure. right? Hey man, look, look. All of this for some shit that's gonna slide over your 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 penis and prevent See. you from fully enjoying the wonder that is a vagina. Sexual when you when you're sexually immature, you worry about the size of your condom. When you're sexually mature, you think about the performance of the condom. Pretty much. Cause I wouldn't care. That bitch said ultra teeny micro dick, small uba luba or oompa loompa size. If I feel if I feel like I ain't wearing it when I put it on, that's I the mean, condom I want. I mean, you're not finna get me to wear. You're not finna uh, guilt me into wearing a condom that don't fit. What I look like? Because I mean, that's not gonna make my meat bigger. <laughs> well, th- that be the thing, right? At some point, right? This is this is what always made sense to me, right? At some point, amidst all your lying about how big your condom is. At some point, you gonna have to put your meat inside, <laughs> and you gonna you gonna have to go to work, right? Like at some point in this whole process, the truth is gonna come out, right? And 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 so I've I've taught enough women doing condom demonstrations for at least the ones I've come across that have gotten my classes to know what a condom looks like when is when it don't fit. If the mm-hmm. condom is bag, condoms are not supposed to bag and sag. Condoms are supposed to be snug fit. And see, a, a lot of dudes and a lot of people, period. But a lot of dudes are like, and and that's that's the that's the lack of sex education at home first. Mm-hmm. At home first, parents at home first, mm-hmm. and at school. But at home, seventy five to ninety percent at home, parents, and then school. So that lack of sexual education. So you you have you have guys out here who thinking only the size of my condom matters and and all these different things. And you don't even really understand totally how to use the condom. If your condom is breaking, you're not leaving enough room at the tip because, you know, there and some of these some of these actual sex education videos are teaching people to pinch the tip of the condom rather Mm -hmm. than. Rather than, because you're supposed to like take these two fingers, roll the condom down to the second knuckle, and then pull the condom off and leave that inch, inch, that half an inch room at the tip. And once you put the condom on, they still leaving that half an inch or that inch room at the tip to give the condom room to breathe. That when I when I learned that, I had I haven't had a condom break on me since like 2009. Learn just learning that. Like I don't even worry about condoms breaking no more, just because I understand that leaving that room at the tip. Also, understanding how to incorporate lubricant into what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Don't be having sex with immature girls who like I don't need no lube. You ain't never had what sex it? with the ceiling fan on, bro. With a condom, you do. <laughs> I'm just saying, but that that's the <laughs> that's the that's the imma- that's the sexual right. immaturity though with people. Right. It's like, with the dudes, it's like, well, um, I, I just need big size condom. And the girls like, I don't need no lube. Like, man, shut up. You might not need it, but that man ain't gonna make it better. Well, that that be my thing, right? Like, you might get wet, but one, uh, condoms have a tendency to dry shit out, especially magnums. <laughs> <laughs> bang bang another shot at the trojan man we, we are not gonna get that ad <laughs> <laughs> lifestyle high letters <laughs> hey but even if, even if it don't even if you don't need lube lube makes it better like it ain't uh, like you know what i'm saying like it made the whole situation better but you know it's like with with um people have gotten have come to equate your body working with how turned on or how performance ready you are psychologically. Well, well, yeah. I 